Okay, I'm going to talk about magazine management and reloading as it pertains to Superstock and HVT environments. There are three basic reloads that you may want to mix into your system. The speed reload, the magazine pouch retention reload, and the dub pouch retention reload. Let's go over those quickly. The speed reload. The speed reload occurs when you run out of ammo, you pull the trigger and nothing's coming out. You just want to get ammo back into that blaster immediately so that you can take out the zombies or <coughs> players. So, you'll be shooting, nothing, and then you just want to get, you want to drop that mag. I have you know, enhancements that allow me to do that in my blaster. I've sent it out the mag well, so the mag will just drop free. So you either want to strip it out and drop it and get the next one, or just let it drop out, or you can flick it out using <coughs> centrifugal motion. The magazine pouch retention reload. There are two reasons you want to use this. One, to top off the magazine, because you always want to have a full mag in the blaster, it's just convenient. Two, to, ha to reload from an empty magazine to a full magazine, but not to drop your magazine on the ground if you're playing in an environment where you might not see that again. Large HVZ games, colored campuses, etc. They might just go missing, stolen, lost, whatever. So, there, one, to top off from a full magazine. Top off to a full magazine from a partial magazine. You wanna to go to the furthest one away, pull it up, rock it in, and go back in. Why do you wanna do that? Because you wanna put the partials as far away from your first, res first sources of ammo so that you're not reloading partials first because that's just kind of stupid. The reloading a empty magazine one. So you might want to, in that case, you want to get it fast because you don't want to drop that mag. I prefer to drop my mags. You don't want to drop it so you might go for the, for the closest source. In, out, and back in. Obviously you're going to have an empty or push. You're going to have an empty magazine there now. So when you get the chance you're going to want to shuffle that over to a spot where it's not as bad to have so you're going to want to be managing your ammo constantly either having the empties and the partials out here and your full or next to full magazines across here starting from here across if you run a belt like I do I run a belt otherwise from here across you want to have all your empties over here partials if you've got them and then full mags the dump pouch retention reload this is a good way to segregate your empty magazines from your partials and full magazines so if you've got an empty magazine and you don't want to be dropping them, you can take that empty magazine, put it in a dump pouch, mine's back here, it needs a bit of work because the mouth doesn't like to stay open, put it and then come to your speed reload source and go in. You may also want to use this if you don't want to have any partials there and you want to come back to the partials later from the dump pouch. Having a dump pouch is also good for sweeping, so I suggest just having one anyway. I have one that is large enough that these magazines can sit in horizontally so they're not going to bounce out when I run. If you have a dump pouch that's not wide enough, the magazines will sit in there vertically and when you run they'll be bouncing because it's not tight, it's loose, they'll bounce and bounce out. Another reason you may want to consider the dump pouch reload is because if your gear is not good enough to support a magazine pouch reload at fast enough, because in that situation you want to be reloading fast so you don't get caught up with a Z or whatever rushing you while you're trying to fucking get that mag back into a pouch. So if your pouches aren't of a super high quality and you aren't able to reinsert just like that, just come in and put them back in, you may want to consider using the dump pouch reload in that saw in that situation. Thanks for watching, this has been just a basic overview of reloading. A lot of this has been and can be gleaned from real steel examples, but I figured people may like a nerf specific reference. Hopefully this is the start of a few new videos from me with a semblance of production quality. Next up, an overview of the wooden carry case for my strife and magazines, and perhaps an in-depth view of my strife. So subscribe to see that in the coming weeks. Thank you.